Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up the ClickFunnels affiliate program for your funnels. So before we get started, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need to make sure that you have the correct plan in order to set up this affiliate. So in ClickFunnels, you need to have the 297 platinum plan. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to set up a specific affiliate program for your funnel. And two, you're going to need a completed funnel with products associated with it. So this is our completed funnel right here. The product is an online course that shows you how to rank your videos on YouTube and earn more Google ad revenue. This is the sales page here and it's got uh, a couple of products which I'll show you guys as we go on. But you gotta make sure to have those two things. Okay, and once you have that, you wanna head over to Backpack which is the affiliate program and head over to the dashboard. You wanna make sure that your Backpack is enabled and you can see all this stuff, that you have a dashboard and everything. Okay, so first thing you need to do is create a commission plan. So head over to the left hand side and click commission plans. You'll see that I already have two completed here and I named them this specific way so that I know which funnel it's for and I know how much the percentage is. So these commission plans are for this sales page right here. So I named them accordingly. And these numbers represent the commission percentage. That's just for me to know right off hand which one it is. It's just going to make it easier. So if I click on edit on one of them, you can see that I named it as such. The currency is only in USD. I did make this the default plan for now. Is this plan active? and I did not make the commissions expire. And so you wanna do the same thing, click add commission plan, fill out all this stuff, and then click on create commission plan. So I'll just do a test one here, test. I'm gonna leave this unchecked because I don't wanna make it the default plan because it is just a test. And you leave this on or off if you want the commissions to expire or not. And then I will create commission plan. Okay, so now we have that test one right there. Now if you click view on the one that I had originally created, you'll see that it has some percentages attached to it. So we need to go and add that. So I'm gonna head back to the commission plans and then click on view. I'll just show you guys that there's no actual commission added and you won't see this until you add these commissions. So again, I'm gonna go over to commission plan all right, so we're back here. Once you've created your commission plan, you then need to create an affiliate type. So click on affiliate type. And these were those commissions that you were seeing. So if I just click edit on one of them, you'll see that I named it accordingly. So I, I called it what it is. You can name this. Some people name it, you know, like VIP affiliate, super affiliate but I just wanted the percentages so that I know what the actual percentage is. So I'm gonna X out of that. And so let's click add affiliate type. So let's just go 50% test. And I'm not gonna set this as the default because this is just a test, but if you are actually doing it, yeah, you can click that. And then I'm gonna click create affiliate type. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to commission plans. And then I'm going to click on view for the test one. And then I'm going to add this 50% test one. So when you click on that, it's going to ask you, okay, how much is all this going to be? So because I called it 50% test, I'm going to put the amount as 50 and leave the payment type as percent. If you do fixed, then it's going to be $50. Most people do percentages and the months before payout. The standard is one month just in case people have refunds. You can make this longer if you want. If you set it to zero, then it's gonna be an immediate payout, but I would leave it at at least one month before payout and then click add affiliate schedule. 
And so you can see here that this was added. It's now at 50% and you can click edit if you want and change the amounts, change it to fix, change the percentage. So now we head back to the overall commission plans. Once you've got all that set up, you then need to head over to your funnels. I'm here in the funnels and I'm just going to head over to our sales funnel. So this is the funnel where it shows the sales page. So I'm just going to click on that and you can see here that it already has these two pages called affiliate access and affiliate area. So ClickFunnels requires you to have these two pages. So the affiliate access is where your affiliates are going to sign up and the affiliate area is for your affiliates after they sign up where they can get all their links. So I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how to add it. So this is the affiliate access. It's just a basic affiliate page where people can fill this out to become an affiliate for our YouTube SEO simplified course. Now I will say that this does need to be designed just like your funnel was designed. You need to design this as well, change all this text, do the colors, but we chose the most basic one just to keep it simple. Oh, and just before we head over to the affiliate area, these right here, this login URL and secret signup URL, these are the links that you can give to a specific person to sign up as an affiliate. So this right here, as it says, secret signup URL, this is to have people sign up as an affiliate, send them here. If they already have a login, a ClickFunnels, affiliate login, like they've already created one, you can send them to this link. So for new affiliates, you will be using the secret signup URL. So let's head over to the affiliate area. Okay. So for the affiliate area, for some reason it's showing up the login page to become an affiliate. But if you click edit page, it's going to look like this. And this also needs to be designed. You need to put in your appropriate text, the images. And if you need something like this designed, uh, feel free to reach out. We'll have our email contact down in the description below. My business partner Arit designed this page. So there's a photo of us. People can use these graphics to promote. This is the text here. So you need to give your affiliates all of the digital assets that they need to promote your your offer. So those are two examples of what those two pages look like. Now let me show you how to actually add those pages in. So we're going to head back to the funnels and I'm going to add it to this one as an example. Okay, so from here, once you have your completed funnel, you need to add a new step and you need to name that step. So you can call it affiliate access or affiliate login, whatever you want, and then click create funnel step. Okay. From here, you need to go to the tab affiliate and click on affiliate access. And they give you a bunch of different templates and you need to select one. And like I was mentioning before, this is where you need to customize it. So they have a bunch of different examples for us. We just did a very simple one. I think we did something like this one or something like this, just keeping it really simple. So let's just say simple, small access, select template. Okay. So now that we've created that page, we need to create the affiliate area. So we just do the same thing. Click on add new step call it affiliate area, create funnel step. I know this is really confusing, but this is how you do it. Okay. So now we need to go back to affiliates and now instead of affiliate access, we are clicking affiliate area. And then again, they're going to have some templates. We chose the simplest one, which was, I think this one. Yeah, this one right here, click select template. And again, these are just going to be blank and generic. You, after all this is done, you need to design these pages and put your information in. So that's now being completed. 
So now what we can do is go to settings, which is the settings for this entire funnel. Click on the settings tab after you've created these two pages and then scroll down and you see here backpack. It's going to say it's now being enabled, but you need to make sure this is checked. If you did not create these two pages, affiliate access and affiliate area, it will say something else here and it will tell you that you need to create it first. It says here we've got it enabled, this is good. And then remember those commission plans that we were creating? These were my two original ones that are actually working and then there was that test one, remember? So I'm gonna enable it to go on the test one. You can also enter an affiliate manager email once you've done that. Scroll all the way down and click save and update. So after you've done all that, you then need to turn on the affiliate side of things for your products. And I'll go back to my previous funnel and show you what that looks like. So this right here is our actual funnel and we have three different products so there's the initial course there's an order bump and then there is an upsell so you want to go to your different pages and you want to go to your products so this is the sales page and there is a product associated with this page and you'll know if there's an actual product page here just to give you an example if i go to the confirmation page there is no product here. There's no product tab. So you need to do this on a page that has the product tab on it. So let's start with the first one. The sales page has two products. So if I click on products, it's got two things here. So it's our YouTube SEO simplified system. And then we have an order bump. So on this sales page, there are two products. And what you need to do is click on edit and you just want to scroll down and you see here it says provide commission is this product commissionable you need to make sure it's turned on and it's green and then here they're going to ask you which commission plan well it was all those commission plans we created back in the be beginning right so and it was set to this one and there's that test one we created so you need to make sure to set that and you need to save that we'll go back i'm just going to click cancel and we'll go back to the products from the sales page. That was just done for the YouTube SEO product, which was the 47. But I have two products here and you need to do it for the next one if you want to give commission on that as well. So you might have a bunch of products, but you're only giving commission on the first one or the first two or, or whatever. So if you want affiliates to be able to earn commission on this as well, you do the same thing, click edit. Make sure it's turned on, click the right one, and you see this one is still at the 50, which means that we're still offering 50%. I'll show you the other one we're, where we are offering a lower percentage, which was the 25. I'm going to click cancel, and then if we head over to the OTO page, which is our upsell higher offer, go to products. We offer this uh, coaching session, which is 197. I'm going to click edit and if we scroll down you'll see that it's the it's turned on and it's the YouTube SEO simplified the 25 because that one is associated with 25% commission so that one is a lower commission so if you wanted to do a different percentage commission with different products you can do that you just need to make sure that you created it in the beginning with the commission plans and the affiliate types. So we only have three products on this funnel, so th that would be all completed and done. Let me go back to that test funnel. And so let me show you what it would look like, you know, to add it from scratch. So if you, the product I believe is on this page. And so you see the products tab there, click on that. And there is a product here, click on edit. And then you'll see here, Initially, it's going to be grayed out, right? So you need to turn it on and then it's going to ask you which commission plan. And remember, we did that test one. Let's pretend like it's the test one. And then you would click save, save and close or save and next. But this is just a test. So we are going to cancel that. 
and we'll head back to the other funnel. And so once you've gone into your specific pages with the products on them and turned on the affiliate and put the correct commission plan, you are good to go. You have set up the affiliate. Once you've designed this page accordingly, then you can take your secret signup URL and give that around town to get affiliates to sign up to sell whatever is in this funnel. And so that's how you set up your ClickFunnels affiliate for your specific funnel. So if this video was helpful, please let me know by giving a thumbs up. That would be very much greatly appreciated. And if you want to check out the affiliate area, head down to the description below. We will have all those links for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.